The film is called The Linguists. Funded in part by the National Science Foundation, it follows the work of two scientists who are documenting and archiving languages that are dying around the world. Film director Seth Kramer got interested in the project because his family once spoke Yiddish. You know, I was interested in making a, a movie about what does this language mean and, and what does it mean now that it's not in my life and, and that, uh, that it's sort of been removed from a uh, from, from vast community that, that, that had spoken it at one point. Um, th that sort of exploration led to a discovery by, by me and my fellow filmmakers um, that there are, uh, that this Yiddish language is certainly not alone. Uh, there are 7,000 languages or so spoken around the world uh, and scientists estimate that as many as 90 percent of those languages might not survive the century. The film follows David Harrison and Gregory Anderson, scientists and modern-day adventurers working to preserve disappearing languages. We went to Siberia uh, trying to track down with our, following our scientists, trying to track down a language called Chulim. Uh, we went to Bolivia trying to track down speakers of a language called Kalawaya. We went to India trying to find uh, speakers of a language called Sora. And then the last stop was, was at home in America, uh, a language called Chemhuevi, which is spoken in the southwest, uh, which is pretty much down to its, its last fluent speaker. That is Johnny Hill. I speak the Chemhuevi language, and, and, you know, I speak it to myself because there's nobody to talk to. And all the elders have passed on, and, you know, that's, um, I have to speak to myself. Anderson and Harrison spent months trekking to remote villages in search of dying languages. High in the Bolivian Andes, they met Max Chura, one of the few remaining speakers of Kalia. He said, my name is Max Chura. Despite the dominance of Spanish in the region, Kalawa is still spoken, but only between shamans with knowledge of the medicinal value of thousands of plants and herbs. When he's not traveling, Harrison teaches in the United States. He blames language loss on urbanization, colonialism, and false beliefs. This is kind of one of the false choices of globalization, is that people have come to believe or have been told that they need to give up their ancestral language and speak English or some other global language, and that's simply not true. Harrison hopes the film will send a message that when languages die and are lost, knowledge is too. Paul Cisco, VOA News.